Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. And it's an important one as we have a full moon in mystical, magical Pisces. On top of that, we have a grand earth trine, which is bursting with potential. Here's your weekly astrology. Scorpio, love and all of your close connections actually and experiences this week may have a feeling like you've been here before. It's all a bit mystical and magical and exciting and important. In fact, you can make some seriously important connections if you get out and about this week as the Grand Earth Trine is flinging you into social settings that could end up being super important for your future. So if you can manage it, try and socialise, network, even put your ideas out there or join forces with people of like mind on the web because powerful forces are at work underneath the surface. Now the sun is trying Uranus, the sun is trying Saturn. We have all sorts of cosmic shenanigans going on for your greater good. Could even be an ex-lover or a rekindling of the sensual energy in your current relationship. Uplift your spirits and put you on a high. If you've been feeling a bit frightened, shy, lonely, all of that could shift this week. But of course, you've got to put the energy into it. I know it's hard if you're feeling those things, but the cosmos is supporting you this week. And there's unexpected connections and surprises. In fact, you know, your love life um, is unusual in many ways and it's all about you having this sense of the unusual even if you're in a long-term relationship even if you're single the unusual and the surprise should enter in this week we also have of course the full moon and the full moon is very it's beautiful for you actually it's in your creativity soulmate zone sex styling saturn you know, Uranus is in your relationship zone. It's kind of grounded but exciting, just how you like it. I will say, though, that Venus is square Pluto in that moon. So you might find yourself going to emotional extremes or perhaps losing your boundaries or having a conversation. It's all a bit foggy. You know, try and tune in to your... Um, I hate the word higher. I say higher self. I don't mean it in that way because... No, I don't like it. But it, tune in to your soul's wisdom. Tune in to your psychic perceptions. Tune in to what's going on beneath the surface. Listen to dreams. Expect a secret to come to the surface. It may even be a secret you've been keeping from yourself. But whatever it is, in the long term, it's going to liberate you. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.